Okay, hello again everybody. Today uh, I'm gonna show you something about clamp meter. You know, I really love this uh, ACM03 from B-Side. It used to be a really nice clamp meter. I use it a lot because I have my uh, solar panel projects and it's measuring uh, currents and all this stuff all the time. But in the meantime I observed something. When I use it DC, direct current, you know, for measuring the amps, I have a residual, I may say, display. And what's funny, when I turn the wire upside down, you know, like changing the, the polarity somehow into the wire, the residual, it's almost 400 milliamps is getting deducted from the current initial measured. So now I'm trying to have a kind of reference uh, current source and I'm trying to fix it checking all these little trimmers in here. You see there are a lot of trimmers over there and I have to find which of them is the one responsible for, uh, for this deviation. And I think there are this up here because the clamp meter is a half sensor meter. It got something to do with the uh, operational circuits over there. So what I want to do first of all is to, to have a little trick. What is this about? I'll show you right now because you see this uh, clamp meter you know it's uh, made for for measuring really strong car here 400 amps you see over here 400 what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have 10 pieces of wire like a coil in between the clothes and that will work like a kind of transformer and I'm gonna do that right here pretty capable of doing like one amp or something and I have these lithium batteries here so this will light a little bulb one of these bulbs and this one it's for 24 volts. It's pretty tough, you know. Ah, okay. So now let me have my trusty old M890G, 20 amps. This one's better because I can change it faster in the need of reverse polarity okay so let's turn this on PC and we should have here seventeen seventeen point twenty three okay Trying to make it zero. Kind of. Almost there. Yeah, it's looking like uh, it's solved. So we have 179, 18, 25 here after 10 uh, of these. If we change the polarity, then we have like 18, 35, 33, 0. That's very close. Well, that's pretty, pretty good residual, I may say. VR6, VR6. Let's try this and make it a little better if I can. 
I think this is perfect. I can't do any more than this. Now, let's have a simple check now. A single circuit, I may say. So it's 0, 0, 005. This that's absolutely okay for almost zero. Let's have this running through the ammeter. 174 and it's 181 over there. 176, 79. Yeah. And the other way. 190, 188. Okay, so, but now I have to make it level between 185 and we have 175 here. So I'm gonna check this VR9. Perfect. So I have in this sense I have a 180, in the other sense I have 177, 180. Perfect, that's it. So we did that and now all I have to do is to put a little bit of nail or lecure. Be sure that it will stay like that. Let's check it out now. One seventy nine. Perfect. And the other one. One seventy nine. That's it. So we did it. So if you encounter a problem like that. We have to take care about this. This is VR5 and then the other one it's up here you see it and it's I think it's VR9. So these two from this one you turn to zero and from the other one you equalize the measurements. But I may say I'm really satisfied with that. Now it's, it's uh, on zero again, look, and uh, I fix it with some nail linker and that's it for now. I think we are done. Uh, maybe I should check also, as long as I'm here, to check the, the other stuff, you know, like resistance and voltages but I don't use them anymore or too much anyway so but let's try a little bit 6.82 6.82 and let's have this one Six point eight. I think it's okay. I don't even bother to check it anymore. Uh, what else I want to check? Let's see about. Let's see about uh, voltages. So it's on auto here, and let me have this fifteen point zero. Okay. Perfect, 15.03. And now let's go back to amps. 194. What about the other way? 196. 95. But if you consider that this one should have 40 amps here, I think it's pretty okay. I'm really satisfied for now. So that's a way how to calibrate your uh, your clamp meter. 
like I told you before, VR5 and VR9. And don't forget to fix it with some luck or something. And that's it for today, people. Thank you. See you soon with some other projects and hope uh, you are okay. Stay safe. Bye bye.